Um, well, in the end, uh, a well-deserved and hard-fought point up after a, a tricky start. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we said in there, credit to them, they're, they're a good team. I don't think we'll get a better point in the season, to be honest. Um, but again, that sums the boys in there up and the management team we've got. You know, it was, a, like you said, a really tricky start. They come out of the blocks quick. We probably weren't as quick as we like to be out of the blocks, but they were, they were goals we could have avoided we look at, but if you look from their point, they'll, they'll be happy with them. Um, but then, look, you're 2 nil down, you get a goal back. You sort of said on the pitch to the boys, look, getting at 2 1, and you know you're always in the game. So, managed to do that, tweak a few things at half time, and I think that made a big difference. Then, obviously, we get the second goal of a great ball from Woody and Ken, that man cards at the end. Because at 2 0, it could have got a bit messy, but as you say, get, getting that goal back just, just sort of knocked them back a little bit and probably just reset your sights a little bit after being rocking and rolling a bit. Definitely. There's no, let's not be around the bush, they were controlling the game, weren't they? So we had to do something, you know, and we work hard on throw ins and etc. And it comes from probably a second phase from a throw in where H gets down the wall, puts a great ball and cars again. So, like you said, that goal is important, it stems the flow of them, um, gives us confidence. You know, kicks them in the teeth if you like. So, yeah, stemming the flow and then, like I said, getting in a half time, tweaking a few things. And I think we come out, come out well and got that second goal. But then obviously they they took control again. But that, that's part and parcel of the game. When you come away from home, you know sometimes a point or a really good point if you can make it free at free at home on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I think the spectators enjoyed it. We certainly enjoyed commentating. It was a great game. But then the tweaking formation, the coaching staffs get involved, and you sort of start cancelling each other out but, but you know they've put pressure on you towards the end but you you stood firm and that change of formation did seem to be key. 100% um, look you've got 46 games in the season you're not always going to play well so when you don't play well if you can pick up points that's a sign of a good team and I think we didn't play how well we usually play and we want to play I think if you compare to today to Tuesday you, you wouldn't believe it's the same team but that's part and parcel of football and you've got to be able to pick up points when you're not at your best so like I said I think we, I don't think we'll get a better point than that this season Talk to us about Harry Carwell and, and his contribution so far this season it's a team game but that's nine for the season for him now Yeah um, listen we know how big he was you know in, in the squad in the chain room obviously since he's come he probably hasn't had the run of games that he wanted um, and I think having a bit part pre-season if you like has helped him massively um, and listen everyone knows confidence in football is a massive thing and you put that ball in the box, it's going to end up in the net with him. So, listen, it's our job to carry on feeding him and, uh, and we know we've got goals. So, like I said before in my previous interview, I think we want to tighten up a little bit at the back for goals. I think last year we was a lot lot tighter at this time, point in the season. But, listen, if we know we've got someone up front there, you're always in the game. Even if you're 2-3-0 down, you know you, you, you can go on and get two point, uh, three points or, or one point. Sorry. And obviously, Brooks and Kevin Golo slung on for the last three or four minutes when there were corners and all sorts of things to defend as well. I mean, how do you feel he's, he's sort of fitted in since he's coming in and being given a chance now? Yeah, really well. Listen, he's, he's a young lad and I've been there. Great opportunity for him. Um, he's, he's got, like, I see the gap said the other day, a lot of centuries. He's a good, really good player and coming on the last three, four minutes, I know what it's like as a defender. It's not always pleasant and pretty but listen they're them experiences you take forward in your career so even though it was only five minutes it, it will help him a lot and look the fans fans will get excited from him when they when they finally see him on the pitch for 90 minutes mm-hmm. corners at the end as well. I mean, got involved in one at the other end as well i mean you're back you're pleased to be back at home right now, you, now? definitely um there's nothing at home is there especially roots all so look we we look forward to that now it's rest and recovery um it's been a hectic period isn't it so um, yeah, we, we, we look forward to that Tuesday. Um, another tough test, Oxford, but when we're at home, I think we, we always go to attack and take the three points. So, like I said, if we can take three on Tuesday, it makes this an even better point. And just finally, you mentioned the hectic period with a smaller squad than you'd like to be playing with. A couple of substitutes on one occasion, three substitutes the last couple of games as well. It's not easy, is it? It's not ideal, but it is what it is. And listen, when you're at this football club, you come up with a lot of challenges you probably won't in a other clubs when you're at other clubs but it's part of the beauty I guess of football isn't it and like I said I don't think obviously without the minus 10 we'd be in and around the playoffs I don't think that's a coincidence I really don't the players we've got and the group we've got and the gaffers brought together it, it's a real real tight night um, tight knit group so credit to all the boys um, 
and yes, yeah, so it's a hectic period, but there's nothing better than playing football, is there? So I'd rather play Saturday, Tuesday than Saturday, Saturday, but sometimes rest and recovery is, is nicer. When it finally does go back to Saturday, Saturday, it'll be quite nice.